<laughs> Say good morning. 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 We are off to monkey music. Usually we get to go get coffee and chill and we do some colouring and stuff, don't we? But we've got to rush straight back after monkey music because we have a carpenter coming round to fit some shelves in the kitchen. As usual, this mirror needs cleaning because somebody has been kissing the mirror. Have you been smooching yourself in the mirror? Yeah, it's because you're so gorgeous. Finally be able to get the rest of the house back together and be back to normal and um, get rid of all these boxes in here and um, get everything from the kitchen back into the living room. What are you doing? <laughs> I like your hair. Ew, stinky feet. Yuck. <laughs> is that your Christmas jumper? Yeah. Yeah? This is from Zara. She wore it on Saturday and she got so many compliments on it, didn't you? You can have a month to biscuit, okay. So that's our day. Running to monkey music, running back, carpenter, sorting Bye. out the house. Bye, a month the biscuit. And I've got some bits in here which I'm gonna show you later from our kit and I'm gonna finally do that our kit haul that I said I would do a couple of vlogs ago. This jumper, by the way, is from Whistles. I can link it. It was in my favourites on ASOS for ages and then they had their 20% um, off. Uh, it was either, I think it was over Halloween, they had 20% off and I snapped it up then. Lots of you have been admiring this, so it's from Whistles for any of you that wanted to know. I've just popped this new look t-shirt underneath and um, I really like that this jumper is slightly cropped and it has slits on the side. Where's Delilah gone? <laughs> oh! Need to put the rest of the living room back together don't we later? I cannot wait for the rug to come. Let's get shoes on shall we? Put the TV back. Yeah we'll put the TV back later. Gorgeous Gussie. Look at that hair. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. Who's gonna go see the new Let It Go tomorrow? Me! Get one of these. We're home, Delilah's having a yoghurt and the carpenter will be here any minute so I'm going to make as much room over here as I possibly can. Just need to move this along a bit more and I'll pop this washing in another room and also get rid of these locks. We're going to be having some shelves built into this alcove. So originally we thought we were going to box this in and make it a pantry. And we can still do that in the future if we want to. But for now, I quite like having the having it open and it's a way of kind of deco. I mean, it's a bit of a bit of a mess at the moment. We have a drawer over there which is just overfilling with spices and nuts and um, could do with a little bit more storage and it being easier to get to things. So I thought instead of making a pantry, because I don't really want to box this in because I feel like it will make the, um, the room feel a lot smaller. Um, so for now we're just going to get a couple of shelves put in up here and keep it open plan. It will be practical but it will also look nice. Dust. Dust, dust, dust. She's dusting for me. A bigger one. Oh, I don't have a bigger one, darling. Pop This is literally the only day the carpenters could do before Christmas. There's loads that we want doing around the house, but um, I just really wanted these shelves put in before Christmas so I could all come out that drawer because it's driving me nuts. And I didn't realise we would have just finished the floor to, um, yesterday. This was the one time and the one day that he could do. And so I was like, yeah, okay. It's going to be chaos this week, but um, let's get it done. I hope I've made enough room for him. I'm just going to move this along here, darling. Oh dear, right. Oh, cold. So I'm going to move all this stuff, my lovely. Forgot about all this stuff of Delilah's under here. Oh, so many spiders underneath it. Oh my goodness. Hi, I like this doodle 
you know. There's a boy. <laughs> Goodbye. Delilah's having a nap and I've snuck in here because the carpenter's still downstairs to do the Arket haul that I promised I would do a couple of vlogs ago for full disclosure and back in the summer Arket and I have to say Arket because someone someone thought I was saying Arket and I think it's just when you say Arket fast and in a certain accent it sounds like you're saying Arket I'm definitely saying Arket <laughs> They contacted me back in the summer and asked if they could send me some products um, every month or so. I get a certain budget, I get to pick out everything um, for myself. I'm a huge fan of them so I was so excited when they contacted me. I'm trying not to be too noisy because um, I'm aware that there's a guy banging downstairs and Delilah's trying to sleep. So this stuff is gifted, there's no contracts involved, I don't even have to do this video, there's no certain amount of exposure I need to give them. So when they first gifted me stuff back in September time, popped some things up on Instagram and so many of you asked if next time they gift stuff that I could do a haul. I'll put all links in the description. First thing are these wellies. So Delilah's had a lot of wellies. Her first pair were from Jojo Mama, then she had some mother care ones and all of them within the space of a month have split. She has just got some from Next which, which seem a lot sturdier and I'm hoping they're going to last her until she fits into these. So the smallest size that I could get was a size 8. These feel really sturdy and how cute are these? I love them so um, yeah hopefully she'll fit into them at some point next year. Our kits are fab for children's clothes and basics so I picked up this vest for Delilah just to go under um, t-shirts and jumpers. I got her another stripy t-shirt. Um, this one however is, well one it's quite big. I don't think this will fit her until next year. When it hits January the temperatures tend to drop more and um, this is much thicker than her other Arkit stripy t-shirts that she has. She has a few and honestly they've been worn and washed so many times yet they still look brand new. I really liked the uh, colour palette of this. I picked up this little plant pot. This will be perfect for one of the smaller shelves that we're going to put in the living room. I've got a string of hearts that I have been propagating from my uh, string of hearts that's in the bathroom so this will fit perfectly in here or I think a cactus would look quite nice in um, in this. They do Merry Merry products. Merry Merry is one of my favourite kids brands. I love them. All of Delilah's dressing up stuff is from them. A lot of her party stuff, decoration stuff is from them. And I saw these mini cookie cutters. Thought Delilah would love to make some gingerbread cookies um, in the next week or so. For some reason I thought this book was going to be bigger than it is. It's the Moomins, which I know when my mum sees this, she's going to have serious throwbacks to her childhood. It seemed like a really sweet book and it's much too old for her right now. It's a proper proper book rather than a, a kid's book with more illustrations and writing but for now I think this would look really nice on her bookshelf I really need to get her bookshelf I just need to make my mind up and figure out where I want to put them in her room and then when she's a bit older I thought this would be a really nice book for her to read and it does still have some illustrations in it I picked up these Christmas decorations because I wanted these last year and they'd sold out so I nabbed these as soon as I could and these are just um dusky pink pom-poms that you hang on the tree or you can just um scatter them around the house as decoration another thing for delilah most of this is for delilah i picked her up a red beret how sweet is this for some reason she doesn't really like wearing berets she happily wear her bobble hat but she won't wear berets yet she looks so sweet in them so i'm trying to i'm trying to tempt her to get to wear these because she's also got one from mango which um, has a pink pom-pom on the top and it's just the cutest thing ever and with her plaits picked up some candles i thought they'd be a bit smaller <laughs> honestly me and not checking sizes these will still fit in my candle holders and these would be really nice around the festive period and then the last thing is i picked up another merry merry item to go in delilah's dressing up box this is a flamingo outfit uh, so it comes with a hat which goes around their head and um and this really cool cape and this cape can be anything she wants she can be a flamingo she could be a fairy she could be a princess a queen i did order a recycled puffer jacket and i ordered it in a couple of sizes but it just it was just far too big for me so i've sent it back so those were the bits i got from our kit hope you didn't mind me doing that haul lots of people asked for it this vlog is so uneventful i thought 
I'll put it in this vlog to bulk it out a little bit. I feel like we've had a very slow start to Vlogma. Things will start to get um, a bit more festive uh, in Vlogmases to come. We'll go get our tree, we'll do some Christmas baking, we'll be going wreath making, Delilah's got her nativity, although I, of course I won't be able to film that. Delilah's got also a, a ballet workshop, she's got a nutcracker workshop, so very busy this month and there'll be lots of festive stuff. But yeah, just bear, bear, bear with me for the start of Vlogmas. The carpenter's just nipped down the road to get the supplies that he needs to fix the skirt and board in the hallway. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Can you see where there's a gap? So it's just going to replace that so it looks like all the other skirting boards. But I thought I'd pop in here to see what progress has been made. It looks so good. I'm so pleased. I wanted them to look like they were just part of the wall and then I can decorate and add colour and things with um, the things that I put on there. So once these are completed, I think you've still got to sand all these down. Um, once these are done, um, I will be painting them. I've got this furniture paint left over from when I did um, my chest of drawers. So I'm just going to use this. It won't be today, but at some point next week. Battery just ran out. I just have to run upstairs and get a new battery. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, I'll make sure I'm vlogging on the day that I sort the shelves out. Dress the shelves, is that the technical term? Dress the shelves. But right now I'm just doing a few admin bits and booking tickets to see Frozen 2 tomorrow. The carpenter's back. Carpenter's? The carpenter, the carpenter, carpenter. Go in, I'm going. And then, just been doing a bit of sorting. I'm snacking on an apple. Completely forgot about Delilah's lunchbox, so I'm just washing that up. She's Halfway through her dinner, I'm just emptying out this washing up liquid bottle that I found in the back of the cupboard. And then once this runs out, I can um, go back to the refill shop. I'm eating apple. Want some? Yeah. Delilah and I had a bath and then I just popped her to bed. Doug's getting the TV set up again. I'm going to light a fire. And it's gonna be so nice to have our living room back. Oh, so cozy. We're gonna watch the morning show. As always, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and um, I will see you in the next one.